Oh, hello, this is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. I'm here at my favorite little lake in Lake Orion, Lake 16. Finally have enough ice to get some ice fishing done. So I got my new shanty set up and we're gonna get out here, drill some holes and see what we can get done. Thanks for joining me. Dick tip, make sure before venturing out on the ice, it's at least four inches thick. So we came out here just off the big pine tree up in there. There's a little landing you can sit at and we got holes every 20 yards coming in all the way out to here where we drilled some big holes. Bigger holes allow you to sight fish and then I brought my camera and I brought a fishing light. So I made another hole in the middle and I made two sets of big holes cause Dick might come out and join me later. Before I move the shanty over it, I want to get down here and scrape out all this ice. You don't have to be gentle in the start because there's just a ton of it. You want to scrape out all the ice because that's what's going to prevent you from feeling a fish strike and from the fish seeing the action in your lure. It's going to make it a lot easier if you get rid of all the ice. Yeah, at the beginning you're aggressive and then by the end you're just caressing it out of the hole. There we go. We will clean out our camera hole. It doesn't need to be as clean because I'm just trying to get a camera and a light through it. Well, it's starting to snow a little bit. That's cool. Now that I've got my holes all cleaned out, it's time to move the shanty over. I'm trying to get as little snow on it as possible. And there we go. Now that I've got all the side skirts out, the shanty moved over to the hole, since I'm going to be out here for a few hours, I'm going to go ahead and stake down the corners. So now we're all staked out, got the flaps down. We're uh, ready to set up and start fishing. All right, I got my bucket with some tip ups and stuff in it. I got my hiking chair. I'm just gonna set my hiking chair up real quick. Ooh, got some coats. Got that buddy heater everybody loves. Fish cam, some extra tackly and floating stuff. My fish light set up, a couple of hooks. It's really way more than you need to go ice fishing. This thing's been through so much. I'm gonna put this insulated flat back up. It is gonna get dark in here once I close it up, but I got a headlamp with me, so we're gonna make the best of it, see if we can show you what we can. So first, I wanna see how deep I am, which I should really do before I move my shanty, but I kinda already have an idea of what this lake is like. So you just drop you know, a big jig head or a depth finder down until you feel it hit the bottom. You, I mean, you could, you should be, that's why you need a big one, because you can feel it when it's on the bottom. And then you're going to go ahead and count it up. One, two, three, four. So about four yards, you know, so 
probably somewhere between 10 and 12 feet. And that gives me an idea where I want to be jigging because you're just going to want to jig around, you know, slightly off the bottom. This is a much bigger pole than I tend to use unless I start finding some pike. It took a minute, but I finally got this old school fish cam working. You can barely tell. But I'm just bounced off the bottom. You can see some of the weeds and stuff. Try and get you guys a better view later, but I just wanted to get it fired up and know that it's working. Oh look, you can see some of the weeds there on the bottom. So I just pointed at the hole I'm jigging through and see if I can see my jig. Dick tip. When fishing at night, it's good to have a green light to drop in the water to attract the plankton. And now that all the work's done and everything's set up and ready to go, here come Dick and Sam. Hooray! So Sam's here, which means of course Dick is here. They've come ice fishing on Lake 16 after their work days. We're all set up here. I got my fishing light down. It's bright. It is bright and we got the fish cam working and we're just gonna see if we can't jig us up some uh, some night fish. Here we are, it's full on night time outside. We got our light on, let's see if I turn this off, can you see it? Yeah, if you look at this glowing under the ice, that's our fishing light for night fishing. We're gonna give it a try. Uh, Sam's not fishing, Dick and I are fishing. And I finally got the heater back working, so we're gonna crawl back in, curl up by the heater, and jig around a little bit. Woo! Woo! So we got the heater whining, because I abused my heater. And we got the fish cam going, and if we look on it, we can start to see some little planktons coming into the fish light. Fish light way down there, about 10 feet down in the water. Ooh, you jig it? Little jig jig. A jig jig. Little jig jig. Jig jig. Jig jig. Jig jig. Jig jig. That's our setup. We're just going to hang out and chill. But not, because there's a heater, so we're not chilled. Ew. So if you look at the fish cam, you just see all these little white specks. They're slowly starting to drift toward the light. And that's what the light's for, man. It's just plankton. It just draws the plankton in, which draws in the little fish. Well, there you go. You can watch all of them move in. That's so cool. We've all stepped out for a minute to get some air. It was getting warm and dry in the shanty. Yeah. We've probably been here for an hour, something like that. At least. I've been here for longer. They've been here for probably half an hour less than I have, maybe. And the light is definitely drawing in plankton. Uh, we could see it on the camera. Now we're just going to kind of chill out out here for a second before we go back in and get warm. Hopefully you have some big fish swimming around when we get back in. Yeah, hopefully we get some fish into that plankton. Yeah. Sam had to go back inside. It got, oh. it got cold. But it's nice to have little windows that you could look out through. Right. I'll go back in in a minute. Take fishing a little more seriously maybe. So there we go. Just jigging around a little. Move the light up off the bottom now that we've drawn in some plankton so that we can reflect more light off the ice and hopefully sight fish as fish start to move in. Assuming fish are gonna start to move in. Since we've never tried this before, we don't actually know what to expect on timeline or anything. And the heater's still whistling away. And you can still see plankton and stuff on the screen. And Duck and Stab are still here having a good time. Yeah. Hi. Night fishing. Night fishing. And the, the glow on this just looks super cool. Yeah. Oh, I should go out and take another picture now that I moved the light up. Woo. Adventure. If you look down at the light, you can see just the millions of planktons swarming around the light. Ooh. That's all we really want draws little planktons drawing bait fish that draw into bigger fish maybe we'll get lucky dick tip make sure to pack plenty of propane for extended stays out on the ice so the light attracted lots of plankton we've just been watching them on the screen doing a little jig 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 haven't seen any fish yet. The idea is that, you know, the plankton attract bait fish and then attract bigger fish, but I think there's just nothing moving right now. There's a storm coming through. Yeah, there's nothing but plankton down there right now. 
But I'm at least I've been good and warm. I had a good time. Yeah, it's been great out here. You had a good time, Sam? Great time. So what we're going to do, you know, is uh, turn off the heater and uh, start packing everything up and get back to shore because it, uh, it is late. Yeah. Been on the ice for quite a while. But it's cool watching all the plankton come in. It's good having a, having a good time with my friends. So uh, let's get pack up and get back to the car, eh? All right, sounds good. Oh, yeah. There she is, silhouetted in the green glow of the light. Dick and Sam are going to take off, going to break down the shanty, get out of here because of this, this storm that is brewing around us. But you know, if you like this, give it the thumbs up, click subscribe. This has been MI Adventure Life. Thanks for watching, guys.